first thing you want to do before working on any electrically driven air compressor is to make sure the compressor itself is turned off. The power to the compressor is turned off and if possible that the air compressor is unplugged from the power service. Once you feel you're sure that you've turned off the power to the compressor and disconnected any additional power sources that might operate the air compressor, you want to use your multimeter or an amp probe to check to make sure that you are sure that there is no power being delivered to the air compressor. Use your multimeter to make sure that you don't have any operational power going to the compressor systems. Once you have verified this, you can move on to the next step of draining the tank or system pressure to make sure that the compressor is safe to operate. Once you verify that the air compressor is turned off and all electrical power has been disconnected from the air compressor, you want to make sure that you drain the system pressure from the tank of the compressor where you're working on. Make sure that this pressure has been drained down to zero. You can check by checking your tank pressure gauge to make sure that it reads zero. You can also check by pulling the tank safety valve to also make sure that there is no pressure left in the tank. The tank safety valve is typically located somewhere near the gauge. Once you've checked all these things, your compressor is now safe to work on. We are now going to show you how to install a new furnace series or style pressure switch. First, we're gonna begin by removing the pressure switch cover. I always recommend when working on electrical panels or electrical components to make sure you take a picture of the way that all the wiring is installed prior to disassembly. Next, we're going to remove the incoming wires from the compressor control panel. With the wires removed, we're going to loosen up the clamp holding the power wires coming into the pressure switch. Once the wires are removed, you can then take the pressure switch out of its port or fitting. Note that some pressure switches have additional fittings on them, while some will not. Remove the pressure switch. Replace any fittings onto the new pressure switch. Apply a very small amount of pipe sealant or Teflon tape onto the new pressure switch. Make sure that the pressure switch is firmly reinstalled back into the position of the original switch. You can begin the process of wiring the pressure switch back to form, fit, and function. Retighten the wire hold down clamp. And note that at no point in time 
Do I ever adjust the pressure switch? The pressure switches are preset from the manufacturer for the proper adjustments. They do not need to be adjusted. We are now gonna begin to reinstall the power wires to bring the pressure switch back to function. You have now installed a new pressure switch.